He didn't see it. Draws attention to it. Make a wallet sound. Free heirlooms. Oh, hey. <laughs> Hey everyone, Thornton Smash here, and EA just recently talked about the Final Fantasy event we just had and how it was a huge success. And they've also talked about solos mode, arenas, and a ton of other stuff that could be in the works for Season 20 and going forward. We're gonna go over what exactly is changing and why EA is changing, because it actually seems they're gonna give us free stuff. But we're gonna go over all of that. We're also gonna go about the heirloom charts for the upcoming collection event for the anniversary. All you gotta do is like, comment, subscribe, and a winner will be announced in tomorrow's video. But without further ado, let's talk about Apex Legends. All right, so Season 19, wasn't as great as EA or Apex Legends would have thought. It did underperform, particularly from October 1st to December 31st. This isn't the first time it's actually been happening all year. EA said they weren't very happy with how Apex performed. That being said, EA's Chief Financial Officer, Stuart Canfield, did say that during the Final Fantasy collaboration, it had led to two of their highest net booking days ever, which I'm gonna ask you guys as the viewers, who's buying the death box? Which one of you did it? Come on guys, I thought we agreed as a collective unit, we were not gonna buy the death boxes and give EA that much money. Regardless though, that means we are likely to see a lot more collaborations in the near future, especially with other big video game franchises. We know from Hypermist that season 20 is going to have a lot of stuff. There's the Out Urban event, which has legendaries from Newcastle Vantage and Wraith, Out Beast event skins, which feature epics for Newcastle Vantage, Valk, Mirage, Pathfinder, Nemesis, and more. And there's some Battle Pass skins for a legendary Bangalore, Valkyrie, Lifeline, and Rampart, with epics for Ash, Crypto, Fuse, R99, and Prowler. Speaking of that Battle Pass, we know that EA is now going to go ahead and give us the flatline reactive battle pass recolor the recolor will be what i was told white on top gold on the bottom with kind of a pinkish reactive flare but the way to earn this is going to be one of the most interesting things i've ever seen and very different from how ea typically does it as there will be challenges throughout season 20 to complete it along with that there will be other challenges and rewards you can get such as a wraith legendary skin by completing six sets of challenges from february 13th to may 7th along with that there will be a wraith banner frame where you collect all the banner frames from the season 20 battle pass and a legendary sticker and Wraith tracker set where you send six free gifts to your friends. And the ultimate reward is the reactive flatline skin, as I said, where you complete all the above challenges and you get it for free, which is just absolutely insane. I don't think any of us could have ever seen that coming from EA. Along with that, they have some new kind of gifting thing going on where there is going to be free gifts in season 20, where over two weeks, you'll be able to do gala themed epic skins like Seer Inner Flow, Use Bomb Fit, Rampart Born to Die, Maggie Queen of the Punk, Loba Black Diamond, and Valkyrie shooting star these are all gonna be skins with stickers that you seemingly can just give to friends which is very confusing because like i keep bringing up this is ea i, well, I just my brain not working very well. Anyways, along with that, they did let us know of some other great things coming because it's not just about cosmetics in this game. There is the new rank system, which is rumored right now, according to iLoot, Oz, and Hypermist. I've heard a little bit about this, but I can't actually confirm if it's exactly like this. It's been fully reverted to season 13, according to them, with returning mid-season splits, returning teammates and enemies rank visibility. They've removed MMR, removed promotional trials, increased match entry costs, removed provisional matches, and added top fives in a row bonus which all of this sounds like really good which kind of once again i don't know what ea is doing maybe they are letting off of respawn but whatever they're doing over there it seems like they're actually trying to make this season very good and fixing a lot of the core issues even if we don't get a new map new legend a new weapon well kind of we are actually getting a new map it's going to be in the mixtape one we've actually seen early footage of it you can see the bone alley right here with caustic and something about the visuals also looks really good here i'm not sure what kind of settings is being played on but it looks fantastic but yeah this is going to be the new thunder Thunderdome mixtape map. You can actually see that it's going to be Thunderdome. This all comes from Game Informer and there's a giant metallic dome. So it's kind of like Thunderdome from the Kings Canyon original map, but obviously it's been tweaked quite a bit. It will be interesting to see how that works. They did also let us know that in the future, Arenas has actually been talked about coming back into the game as a mainstay. The main issue on why they removed it is because it turned into a situation where half the players were going, I'm a Battle Royale main, and the other half were saying, I'm an Arenas main. And what Respawn wants to do is just have it be integrated so that that people aren't maining one thing or the other. They're enjoying all facets of the game. They said it'll come back in the next 12 months to 24 months, so it's a year or two out, which does mean they are still working on a ton of upcoming content. Sadly though, when they were talking about arenas, they did confirm that solos will never ever be coming to Apex Legends, that they tested it, it didn't work out. So don't expect that to be something we see in the near future. And the last thing we're gonna touch on this video with some changes is they have removed configurations, as you haven't noticed already from Apex Legends. This doesn't really impact you if you're on console, like myself, 
myself. I play on the Xbox. A lot of people seem to be surprised by that, but I'm very casual. But yeah, if you're playing on controller and you're on a PC, you'll no longer be able to do that. Although it looks like there are some things going on with tap strafing where they are trying to put it back in the game. Respawn has addressed it officially on their Twitter. We'll see what happens because I do imagine there's going to be some push and pull from both sides on this and Respawn might go back and forth. I don't know if anyone remembers, but at one point they removed tap strafing completely from the game and then there was such community backlash that they put it back in. So we'll actually see if this sticks. Let me know down below. What are your thoughts on the Final Fantasy event? EA doing more collaborations like that? Do you think that them giving us free stuff will be a continuing trend going forward? Or do you think this is just them trying to earn back some fan appreciation? Also, don't forget to check out this channel right here by my editor, Novell, who does a ton of amazing Apex Legends, Finals, and Power World content. And until next time, Legends, keep slaying the Outlands, and I'll see you out there.